Sharjah University students to continue protest until this steps down. DU teachers express solidarity. Train rams human hauler kills three fishermen in Chapai Nawabgon. Two Bangladesh origin residents among three foreigners injured in missile attack in Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum, this is Shodhri Sama, welcoming you all to Evening News. You have just heard the headlines, now let's move on to the details. The hunger strike by students of Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology sussed demanding the Vice Chancellor's resignation rolled into its sixth day with no sign of resolve in sight. Four more students joined the fast unto death strike on Sunday, taking their total number to 27. However, according to protester Nafis Anzum, 17 out of the 27 are undergoing treatment at various hospitals while the rest are continuing demonstrations on campus. Earlier, one of the protesters had to withdraw from the strike after his father suffered a cardiac arrest. Protesters are adamant on continuing protest until Vice Chancellor Foriduddin steps down from his post. Unrest at SAS de deepened on Sunday evening. 100 hours into the hunger strike as protesters disconnected electricity supply to the VC's residents following his refusal to step down. The students went on the strike unto death demanding resignation of Vice Chancellor for the Din Ahmed following the police action on the protesting students as his behest on January 16. মতামত এবং তাদের দাবি যে আমাদের জন্য যে খাবারগুলো দেয়া হয়েছে আমরা কোনো খাবার গ্রহণ করিনি আমরা কোনো অনশন ভাঙিনি এই খাবারগুলো যেন পথ শিশুদের মধ্যে বিলিয়ে দেয়া হয় University Teachers Network, a body of university teachers, on Monday held a token hunger strike program on Dhaka University campus, protesting at the recent attacks on Silet Shadal University of Science and Technology students. Teachers from different universities of the country participated in the token hunger strike program that started at 12 p.m. and would continue till 3 p.m. at the base of Operator Bangla on DU campus. Students of the Shadal University of Science and Technology continued their protests for the 12th consecutive day on Monday as their demand for the resignation of University Vice Chancellor Fariduddin Ahmed grew louder. The protesting students refused to budge from their demand of the Vice Chancellor's resignation after a virtual conversation with Education Minister Deepu Moni for the second time in early hours on Sunday. যখন মৃত্যু ঝুঁকিতে নিজে ছাত্রকে ফেলা হয় তখন আমরা শিক্ষকরা অসম্মানিত বোধ করি না কিন্তু ন্যায্য দাবির আন্দোলন যখন হয় তখন আমরা অসম্মান বোধ করি আমরা নিজেকে মনে করি যে আমরা কি আজকে চাষা উৎসব হয়ে গেলাম কিনা এই হচ্ছে আমাদের শিক্ষক সমাজ যে সমাজ আসলে মানুষের সম্মান পুরাতে ব্যর্থ হচ্ছে Shadal University of Science and Technology Vice Chancellor Professor Foriduddin Ahmed has apologized to the teachers and students of Jahanginago University for his unintentional remarks on JU female students. Professor Forid JU called JU Vice Chancellor Professor Farzana Islam over phone at about 12 noon today and said sorry for his comment, said a press release signed by the acting director of JU Public Relations Officer. Mohiuddin Ahmed. According to the press release, Professor Forid claimed that his speech was edited and spread through social media. Professor Forid said he realized that the sentiment of Jahanginago University's teachers and students were attacked by the edited speech. In an audio clip that went viral on social media, the VC said that no one wants to marry the female students of JU. The EC law will be formulated according to PM's will as it was tabled by the law minister of the unelected government, said BNP Senior Joint Secretary General Rizvi Ahmed today. He said this after paying tributes to the grave of Arafat Rahman, youngest son of Begum Khaldazia, this morning. Utakta Agdulio Parliament, Etta Nubbo Bakshali Parliament, Okaneja Ain Hobe, She Ain, Putan Muntri, Ichar Potiparan Kodba, Mujib Kod, Para Manus Guluke, Sarch Committee than Ahabe, Bung Unara Sarch Kore, Jebekti Borgoke, Kujibekur, Nidbachan Commission, Gotton Kurben, Tarose Mujib Kod, Para Manushi Haben. The Shutrang, Eta Akabari, Aktorfa, Ebong Jebabe Huda Commission Korahichilo, Rukip Commission Korahichilo, Oiruku Barekti, Commission Tarakurcher, Eta Dress Rehearsal. Gonotunke Shababi Babusta Tamadaki Ferro Tantehobe, 
এবং জনগণ জনগণের পথে যারা হাটে বা গণতন্ত্রের দ্বারা যারা দায়িত্ব পালন করে তারা কখনো বর্তমান ফেসিবাদী সরকারের মতো আচরণ করতে পারে না তো সেটা সামঞ্জস্যপূর্ণ হয় না তো সেই জন্যই আমাদের কোনো ভয়ের কারণ নাই আমরা শেখ হাসিনাকে বিতাড়িত করব এটা তো আমাদের পণ কেন করব দেশের সাথে কেন করব জনগণের সাথে আওয়ামী লীগ জয়েন্ট জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি মাহবুবুল আলম হানিফ টুডে সেড বিএনপি ইজ ট্রাইং টু এম্বারেস দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট ওভার দ্য ইলেকশন কমিশন ল হি সেড দিস ওয়াইল টকিং টু দ্য রিপোর্টার্স ইন দ্য ক্যাপিটাল দিস মর্নিং আইনের ব্যাপারে তারা মহান রাষ্ট্রপতির সঙ্গে সংলাপে বসলেন না তাদের দাবি একটাই ছিল নির্বাচন কমিশন আইন চাই এখন আমাদের সরকারের পক্ষ থেকে মাইন আইনমন্ত্রী যখন এই নির্বাচন কমিশনের আইনটা প্রণয়ন করার জন্য আইন পাস করার জন্য যেমন সংসদে উত্থাপন করলো বিল সেই সময় কিন্তু তারা বলল যে না এটা আসলে তৈরি ঘুরি করে আইন করা হচ্ছে অথচ এই বিএনপি নেতারাই কিন্তু মাত্র সাত দিন আগে বা দশ দিন আগেও তারা বলেছিল যে সরকার চাইলে আইন এক অধিবেশনেই এটা করতে পারে থ্রি প্যাসেঞ্জার হিউম্যান হলার ওয়ে কিলড অ্যাজ এ ভেহিকল ওয়াজ হিট বাই ট্রেন অ্যাট এ লেভেল ক্রসিং ইন আলিনগর এরিয়া অফ চাঁপাইনবাবগঞ্জ সদর উপজেলা দিস মর্নিং The deceased were identified as Sahar Ali and Fulchand Ali of Alinagar area and Naimul Islam of village Kendul of Chapanabhavgan Shadur Upojala, the police said. A police officer said that the victims met the fatal accident when the human hauler they had been riding was hit by a Rajshai-bound train at Alinagar level crossing at about 8.30 a.m. The three died on the spot, he said. He said that they were on the way to their houses after selling fish in Chapanabhavgan's new market area. Now international, the UK has begun to withdraw staff from the British Embassy in Ukraine amid warnings of a Russian invasion. Officials say there have been no specific threats to British diplomats, but about half of the staff working in Kyiv will return to the UK. The US is taking similar action, saying a Russian invasion could come at any time. But EU staff will stay in place. Russia has denied plans for military action, but tens of thousands of troops have amassed on the border. The U.S. State Department also warned people not to travel to Ukraine and Russia due to the ongoing tension and potential for harassment against U.S. citizens. Two Bangladesh origin residents are among the three foreigners injured in a missile attack by Houthi rebels in southern Saudi Arabia. The state media reported on Sunday. Reuters said that the other foreigner was a Sudanese and that they have sustained minor injuries when a ballistic missile fired by the Iran-aligned Houthi movement fell on the town of Ahad al-Masariha. A number of workshops and civilian vehicles were damaged in the attack which targeted the industrial town in southwestern Zizan. The Saudi-led coalition has seen fighting the Houthi group in Yemen since 2015. Before ending, let's have a look on the headlines once again. Shardalan University students to continue protests until VC steps down. DU teachers express solidarity. Train rams human hauler kills three fishermen in Chapaynavabgon. Two Bangladesh origin residents among three foreigners injured in missile attack in Saudi Arabia. And that's all from the news room for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates of NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shandha Khabur, will be at in Bangla at 7.30pm. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.